Hello, Vision Media. Subscribe now or you killing yourself. Kill him, daddy, kill him. Kill him, daddy, kill him. I remember dudes talking about DMX like that. I knew a couple of dudes that was behind the scenes. I think, matter of fact, dudes was working whatever label camera I was with at the time. When DMX came back. <coughs> Yeah, I remember him when he reemerges as a new dude. And he did uh what's the record that he had Ken? They said yeah, they used to no no four five six was uh was uh four five seven. Four five seven. And the dude that I knew was in the studio with him. And I remember he was talking to like, yo, some uh camera I did something something with DMX last night. And I remember him, he was talking, talking, talking. I remember him stopping the conversation like, yo, man, that dude knows his shit, son. And it kind of just made me, because at that time, I really didn't, you know, I was new to, to doing certain types of structures. So like, if you call me to get on the record, I'll be able to know that, okay, my first was supposed to be this long, but in terms of, you know what I'm saying? Because that record is, they used to play that record in the tunnel, and that shit used to be like, you know, he used to tear the tunnel up, so he was like, yo, son. He came, he was like, yo, yo, you know, I'm gonna do 12 here, I'm gonna do this, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yo, he know his numbers, and I remember that shit hit me, like, I, I don't know my numbers that way, so I need to know my numbers, because 12 bars feels this way, eight bars feels this way, 16 bars, so, I mean, you know, his story by now is documented. He knows his shit. He's not just another dude here doing his shit. Feel me? So if he, and like I said, for some reason I reckon never got clear, but I remember being in the tunnel. That was one of the records that they played, and dudes would start fighting, man. Where my dogs at? Here we go, baby. Run it, run it, let's As soon as that record would come on, dude, it would be a fight. Because I also remember, I remember like one of the first, you know, checks that Swiss got was with a flip motion. And Money Cash Holes was one of the beats that was up for grabs at the time. Ain't like, no dudes pass on it. Sometimes you might not get the vision for a beat. But I remember being in the tunnel and they played Money Cash Holes. The, the whole, like there's certain records that dudes listen to. But there's certain records when they come on, they stop everybody. Yeah. <gasps> money Cash Holes, the money, what? You know, you, when you walk like yeah, past the bar in the tunnel right, and you right. go this way and you start to go by that little back area, there's mm -hmm. people that's in the back area, they move into the same shit the people over here move into. And that put me on to structure like, yeah, dude, like you have to, there's something about the numbers, but I still didn't feel it at the time because that's not part of how I digest the music. It's, it's, it's dudes that know you have to know this shit, man, because this is different. And there's not enough dudes that know this shit, especially coming from where we coming from now, because our heyday is sampling. James Brown samples, loops, chopping, shit like that. But, you know, that shit created jobs. You know, Biz Mark was the dude to take the first hit for that. When he put out that um, Diabolical album or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And that album was so sampled, child, but then De La Soul put out their album. When they put out their album, they ain't clear nothing. You, know, you got sampling firms that's listening. Like, oh, that's Steely Dan. <laughs> that's that's Jimi Hendrix. That's mm -hmm. this, that, and that's that. They get paid. I actually heard, as of most recent, that they <coughs> lessen the time that you can chop something and don't get charged. For. Oh. So it used to be like like a second or something like that. They they've made it shorter now. Mm. Mm. Like that. Yeah. They've made it like shorter. Than that. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. And there's certain people that, you know, the history about them, like Anita Baker, you can't sample her joint, John Coltrane, you can't sample none of the stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that history is there. But the dudes that come from the S950, SB12, Rogelin, MP60, them dudes, of course, like the time moves on, but you had to know how to do this and how to talk shop amongst dudes. You do records with certain dudes, you might be from this clique, I might be from this clique. You might be like, just know a dude talent-wise, but when you sit down with somebody, you be like, yeah, somebody knows his shit, it's a different level. <clears throat> now you just got people who basically feel like they're kind of too, they know they can buy their way into this shit. And what 
we come up with because we all from Brooklyn, but we basically all from from the neighborhood, man. Mm-hmm. And I can I can say, and I'm pretty sure y'all can agree, there's dudes that we look forward to certain dudes, man, because we know that these dudes they do it the right way. You don't get you getting shortchanged when you listen to certain dudes. You know what I'm saying? You don't get the hat back cat rat sat swag rhymes. You get work when you listen to certain dudes rhyme. Like the new Nas album, you can hear the work. Like they all, and lyrically he's always there. But like I was saying earlier, when his music is fitting what he's doing, there's nothing like that dude. You know what I'm saying? So you, you I can't, especially that I've been there myself, I'm not going to ask people who don't first organically feel this shit and two don't come from it and expect them to know how this shit is supposed to operate. Mm-hmm. Yes, you in an audience, yes, you in an office, yes, you have money, but you don't know this shit. Mm-hmm. Period. I've heard, I've watched dudes listen to a beat and the beat is dope, but in, let's like one perfect example Black Rob Walk. That record was a fucking monster. That record was a Godzilla monster. He does that record anywhere to this day. That record is crazy. You said, whoa? Yeah. Subscribe now or you killing yourself. Kill him, daddy, kill him. Kill him, daddy, kill him.